well. We've just gone through with seven laps to go, and it's still Ray in the lead. Khan. Tucked in behind her, the two Brits, Twell and Muir, as well as Fogberg, the slightly shorter Swede, right on the kerb. And Yasmin Khan now gets to the front. Now, this is a slightly quicker pace than the previous heat. I'm thinking that we're going to see several non-automatic qualifiers come through from this heat. And there are eight still in contention. So well, it's a very, very blocks. good heat in terms of talent. Just bringing up the rear there, it's Ankuta Bobasel right at the back. The only woman we've really lost is Govench, the third string Turk. So as Peter says, still eight women in contention. So the triple European champion, 5,000, 10,000 and cross country. Yasmin Khan leading the way. Well, it would be quite a feat if she could actually go on to take the title here. That would be quite an array of accolades. Twell in second now, just covering the break with Laura Muir and Ray in third and fourth at the moment. Fogberg and Lozano fifth and sixth. Well, so Khan stretching her lead at the moment. 8.58 is the time that the last of them will have to look out for. That was Klein's time in fifth in the first heat. Well, just when you thought Khan was going to run away from it, she seems to have just settled into a steady pace, although at a very high tempo. So Yasmin Khan with three laps to go, and it's Twell, Ray, Foberg, Muir and Lozano. Well... Khan making sure the, there's no problems for her in terms of any tripping. So this is a very comfortable run from Khan. Muir obviously making sure she doesn't do any more than she need to, given that she's be attempting a 1500 meter heat next. Well, I'm wondering whether she's actually going to appear on the start line for that. We'll have to wait and see. As it's a tall order, there was an awful lot of entries for both races and when the final start list came out there was a lot of people missing from the 3000. Amelie Terzik, for instance, also Maria Magdag. So, Yasmin Khan just coming up to lap her compatriot of Tervench. Khan hears the bell and the rest of the runners going through with 200 metres to go. So it's still Twell in second, Ray in third, Laura Muir in fourth at the moment. Yasmin Khan looking very, very comfortable at this stage. Twell, good run from Stephanie Twell. Well, she's improved indoors this year. Yasmin Khan now just coming round. But well, the real battle is behind her for the other three automatic qualifying places. No problem for Khan. Swell, Fogberg and Ray. So Laura Muir, well, I don't think she'll have any problems going through, but she did finish fifth. Yeah, she's through all right. The eighth placer, I think, will be very close to Klein's 8.58. May not quite have done it. She did lose quite a lot of uh, ground there, but yeah. certainly the first seven of that race will go through. Just needs to tighten up the technique here. As we now see the results of the women's 3,000 metres. Yasmin Khan, very comfortable winner, then 8.52. And indeed, Peter was right. Laura Muir, Lozano and then Bobasel do get through, as do Klein from Germany from the first heat. Confirmation of the women who are going to progress to the final on Sunday evening. Twelve women in that final. Women's 1500 is up next. We have uh, three heats from which the first two in each and the next three fastest will advance to the final. And, uh, well, you'll notice there, Laura Muir. We saw her qualifying quite comfortably. She came in fifth place in a heat of the 3,000 metres this morning and made sure she didn't take too much out of herself. One or two of the other athletes who had been entered for 
both the 1500 and the 3000, opting just to compete at 1500. A very good German, Constance Klausterhalfen. European, two time European junior cross country champion on the inside. As we spin across, Amelia Terzik. She was amongst the original entries for the 3000, but the former European junior champion over 1500 meters has decided just to concentrate on this distance. And it's probably her better bet for a hope for a medal. And then Laura Muir. Well, she ran a very conservative 3,000 meters heat this, this morning. Calculated correctly that she didn't really need to work too hard and got through in the fastest of the two heats, albeit as a non-automatic qualifier. Foster Halfen leads the European rankings this year with a 404.93. Be interesting to see how Muir tackles this race and what tactics she uses. She doesn't like it to be a very slowly run race. On the other hand, she won't uh, want to do too much of the work herself. So she'll be very happy if, as looks at the moment, a decent pace is set. Well, it is the pace being set. It. Kaya of uh, yes. Turkey. We haven't mentioned her, but there is the good Romanian, Claudia Bobaseu, who's improved to 408.19 this year. Now it's Evangela Udu from Cyprus. We've just seen her compatriots. Milan Chaskovic set a national record in the 60 metres hurdles. Inspired by that, and Foster Halfen getting up on her shoulder. On her inside, it's the pole. Ronia Tauska. You're at the back at the moment. Well. well, she must have a great deal of confidence having set European records at 1,000 metres and 3,000 metres. Here's the in-between distance here. She knows she's got the speed and strength and she in fact has come round the whole of the field to make sure she's on the shoulders of the leaders. Yes, we haven't really talked very much about Klosterhalfen, the European leader. We've concentrated more on Muir, who, of course, has set European records over a variety of distances. But Klosterhalfen, a phenomenal talent, only just turned 20. First year in the senior ranks, won a myriad of medals as a junior. When she broke through, she was quite a surprise winning the 2015 European Junior Cross Country title, but then really backed that up on the track with European titles last year. So it's Costa Halfen going through with four laps to go, 800 metres. So at this stage, it's Costa Halfen, Kaya. In one and two, the automatic qualifying positions. First two in each of the three heats, and the next three fastest go through to the final. And Muir again showing her speed just out of the picture. Yeah. She's come from the back up to third place, really increasing her tempo down that back straight, making sure she's uh, nicely placed, as she is now, on just behind Costa Halfen, running wide to stay out of trouble. Well, this is going to be a fine battle for those two automatic qualifying places because if you look at this field, there's very little really to choose on career form between Costa Half and Terzik and Muir. Bobaseo has made a big improvement this year, so we're going to be looking very closely at the times as well because some of those women will probably go through as non automatic qualifiers as we come up with 400 metres to go, and it's Costa Half and Muir and Terzik, that's the one, two, three at the moment. With Gronitowska just back there in fourth at the moment. Now it's really starting to kick into gear. Klosterhaufen 
Uh, looking very relaxed. Terzic, buoyed by the cheers of the crowd, takes the lead. Coming around with 250 metres to go. It's now Terzic. Terzic now really starting to work hard, but Muir coming through very, very well indeed. Muir up to second. Foster Halfords from sticking to the leading pair at the back. But it's now looking as though Terzic is really working hard at the front. I'm just wondering whether that 3,000 metre heat. She didn't have to work too hard, but it's still in Muir's legs this morning. Well, Terzic working hard. Muir, though, looking very relaxed. But Kloster Halfen, well, she just left herself a little bit too much to do. Having to come around the long way, it's Muir, Terzic and Kloster Halfen. Yeah, well, you were mentioning before, they're probably the big three on pedigree. I was very impressed with Muir. She has played it beautifully, easily in the 3,000 and doing just enough here. And a quality heat time as well, unofficially, 4.10.30. But confirmed there, slight revision down of the time, Laura Muir, 4.10.28, the winning time for Muir. Really showing her class there. And a big crowd for Terzic. Terzic did everything that she needed to to get through to the final. Had to work hard. Muir looking very comfortable. Foster Halfen, well, perhaps just a little bit of inexperience at this level. She ended up getting pushed out into the third lane and couldn't quite cover the break when Terzic really started to work hard. had a fantastic indoor season. European records over 1,000 metres, 3,000 metres, 5,000 metres. She's doubling up, but this is the first final she's contesting. Muir is very much the favourite for this race, but it would be very unwise to discount two other very impressive heat winners. Sofia Anawi from Poland, the young and very talented Polish middle distance runner. And along with her, we also saw dropping down distance, Merev Barta win her heat as well, very, very well. Here, Daria Barisovic set a personal best when qualifying yesterday. Serbian flag. I'm guessing it's out to try and motivate and support Amelia Terzic, who's running in the 1500 metres final. Has an outside chance of a medal. Outstanding junior Terzic. But on the evidence in the heats, there's some better women in the lineup of this, the 1500 metres. She was run out and had to qualify as a fastest non-automatic qualifier. There's the super talented 20-year-old Constance Kloster Halfen in there. And the diminutive figure in the center of your screen, Albania's Luisa Gega, who is going for Albania's first ever medal at the European Athletics Indoor Championships. And she stands a chance. Improve the Albanian national record to. 406.66. So from the outside, it's the former European 5,000 metres champion Merif Barta from Sweden. That's the huge roar that greets every Serbian athlete, Amela Terzic. 
former European junior champion over this distance. In lane seven, Kira McGeehan from Ireland. Best of 408.66. There's Kloster Halfman, two times European junior cross country champion, and has made a big step forward on the track this year. Second in the European rankings and top of the entrance here. There's Luisa Gega, well, moved up to the steeplechase last summer, got a silver medal, Albania's first at the European Championships. Well, there's no steeplechase indoors, so she's back down to the 1500 metres for these championships. Sarah McDonald, who's improved this year to 4.11.62. One of two Britons in this final. Maria Gorisevic, brought her best form to these championships and set a personal best of 4.12.52 in the heats. Well, this woman has won a myriad of titles at European under-23 level. Sofia Anawi, European under-23 cross-country champion. But this is the favourite. She really ran a very, very tactically astute heat, came through very strongly over the final 200 metres. Looks as though she's got everything required to emerge as the champion here. As I said, though, it's not a foregone conclusion. There's some very, very talented athletes in this race, but Muir is the favourite. She starts on the inside. seven and a half laps of the track and it's Geiger as we so often see her moving to the front likes to stay out of trouble the contrasting stature of Merif Barter alongside her just going to the front there as they pass the line with seven laps to go you're hanging at the back at this stage just waiting to see how the race unfolds if it's a slow race she's a very fast finisher indeed but so too is Anawi Anawi is very, very strong indeed over the final 200 metres. Well, not a fast pace, that's very evident. Not pedestrian either, like some of the heats. And it is Barter at the front, Geiger. And Muir taking much closer order and go right past them. Have enough of this, let's make it quick. She's learnt her lesson from the Olympics. Yeah, she regretted the Olympics immensely, not being in position to cover the brakes. Well, this, this is a very, very determined run from Muir. 67-76 at 400 after a pretty slow first 200. Muir's going for it. Well, you say that, and the race has just concertina back again, and now he's covered the brake, and so has Costa Halfen. Yeah, as Barter drifts back. Terzik trying to extricate herself from trouble in fifth place at the moment, getting roared on by the crowd. Well, Muir is certainly really working hard here but and now he is covering everything at well, the moment yeah she's she's doing just right she's not going berserk she's not going too quickly but she's just keeping it under control nicely and you can see by the way the field's strung out it's maintaining a good tempo without being sort of record tempo or anything like that well coming up four laps to go muir in front and now he barter and cluster halfen just coming up very quickly to get on the back of that leading group gega from albania cluster halfen well we switch to Lisa Rizic, first attempt at 4 metres 70, Rizic over. Good clearance there from the German, guaranteed a medal, silver or gold. Four seventy-five. Rizic went straight home 470, that is in fact 475. Meanwhile, Muir went through 800 in 2.12.42. Yes. Five hundred metres to go. Yeah, this is the kilometre point. Round 2.45. And it's still Muir being tracked by Anawi, now Foster Halfen. Bit of a gap emerging to Barter, a good three metre gap going back to Barter and Geiger. So, 400 metres to go. It's Muir, Foster Halfen, the very talented 20-year-old German 
Sofia Anawi starting to lose to contact just a little bit. Muir really stringing them out, making it every single runner work hard if they're going to beat her. It's Muir with 300 metres to go. Kloster Halfen challenging. She's on her shoulder. Now a big gap appearing back to Anawi in third. 316, 65 at 1200, 64 last 400. Here she goes. It's the bell, and now these three metres between Muir and Klosterhaufen. This is the first part of an attempted double at these championships for this fine British athlete who's really done so well over the last 12 months. Three indoor records this year on the indoor circuit in Europe over a variety of distances. Muir now starting to really stretch away, accelerate. Nobody's got anything to answer. Klosterhaufen hanging on in there for the silver, but all the plaudits go to Laura Muir from Great Britain and Northern Ireland. And the fastest time by a European in the world this year. And a new championship record. She's beaten Doina Malinti's time from way back in 1985. Oh, what a terrific run there. And this was off a very slow 200 metres. First 200 metres, then she really cranked up the pace. Well, she came here as the favourite. Set herself a very tough schedule, also running in the 3,000 metres. That final comes tomorrow, but she's completed the first half of a double. Big hugs from Constance Klosterhauf, and well, a fine run as well for the silver medalist, the German. Personal best. 4.04.45 for Klosterhauf, and drifting back over the final 300 metres, but now he comes through for the bronze medal. Well, <laughs> she had to work hard, but it doesn't show really on her face at the moment. Well, she just ran it perfectly. Absolutely magnificent. And into the bargain takes more than three seconds off her own previous best indoors. Of course, a 3.56 runner outdoors. Yeah. Huge credit as well to Kloster Halfen. After a very ragged run in the heat, Kloster Halfen had everything in front of her. In the end, couldn't quite stay with Muir over the 200 metres, but silver goes to Germany. Poland get the bronze. Records, not only a championship record, the British record was 4.02.66 by Kelly Holmes. No more. <laughs> Muir has been picking off Kelly Holmes' records consistently over the last... 12 months and that's another one Muir confirmed championship record 402.39 to the British runner Gloucester Halfen just to remind you still 20 years of age a personal best of 404.45 and Aoi 406.59 out of the field over seven and a half laps of the track so let's see what she can do here over double the distance she's going for a very memorable double which has not been achieved for many many years just once in these championships, Hoyetska did the double in 2007. Uh, but of course, she didn't have to actually have the heats in both of the rounds as well. So it's harder for Muir. Although she doesn't have a season's best on your graphic there. In fact, possibly this is going to be a duel between her and the Tur Yasmin Khan, who you just see coming out of the presentation arena there. That's Khan double European champion outdoors last year over 5,000, 10,000 metres and a very convincing winner of the European cross-country title in Italy in December. Well, Khan has only run a handful of indoor races, but she looked very confident indeed in the way that she just ran away from the rest of the field in her heat on Friday morning. Muir, by contrast, knowing full well that she had a heat and a final of the 1,500 metres to come, just took it very, very steadily indeed. Gauged the situation correctly and just got through as a fastest non-automatic qualifier. Twelve women in this heat. Muir leads the European list this year with that European record of 8.26.41, set in Karlsruhe a month and a day ago. There we can see Maureen Costa wearing the familiar orange apparel of the Netherlands. Costa won the other semi-final. She was the other semi heat winner, we should say, rather than a semi-final, a heat winner alongside Khan. Costa, well, has run well this year. She's improved to 8.44.63. But 
doesn't have much of a sprint finish. If she's to get into the mix, we might see her really trying to stay with Khan if Khan does adopt the tactics which we expect her to do of trying to run away from the field. And if Khan wilts, then it could be Costa then making a long, long run for home. Muir, though, well, we saw what she's got in the 1500 metres yesterday. Let's just give you a rundown of who's contesting this final, which will be in two echelons. Costa being picked out by our Serbian television director as a woman to look at. Alongside her, the more diminutive figure of Yasmin Khan. She just glanced back to the women lining up just behind the four in front. So we got Steph Twell, very fine runner indeed, has improved to 8.45.95 this year. Former world junior champion over 1,500 metres, moving up in distance over the last couple of years. <laughs> well, <laughs> the blue bib indicates that she's the fastest woman in Europe this year. That's Laura Muir. If you were watching yesterday evening's European Athletics stream from these European Athletics Indoor Championships, you'll know exactly what she did. A stunning run to take the 1500 meter gold medal and the third of three very fine British athletes in this final Elish McColgan for a long time better known as a steeplechaser but she's left that event behind and is just running on the flat now UK champion so on the inside in lane one it's the German, multiple European junior champion, on many occasions on the track, Alina Ray, still 19. On her outside, Nuria Fernandez, the former European 1500 meter champion. Then we got Charlotte Fugbari from Sweden, Alicia McColgan, Great Britain, Northern Ireland, the second Spaniard, Anna Lozano, Laura Muir, Steph Twell, Hannah Klein from Germany, Costa, we saw the tall figure currently in the middle of the field there, Yasmin Khan. And the two remaining runners, Ankuta Bobasel and Jula Viola. Well, gentle pace here with Muir in the front. Khan just edging around. So 15 laps of the track. So it's the two favourites, shoulder to shoulder, as they go through the first lap. Everybody still bunched up behind them, just trying to keep out of trouble at this stage. Well, it was quite noticeable that Khan was well to the back of the field. And then I think she's probably spotted that Muir was at front and she made quite a strong bid to uh, join her. Just to keep an eye on her. Well, I suspect these two runners have done their homework on each other. Both are very known quantities now. Khan, of course, had a terrific 2016, racking up the gold medals on the continental stage. Muir, well, has had a winter to remember, getting European records in 1,000 and 3,000 and also world-leading mark in the 5,000. So. Yes, it's well, not especially quick, Phil. 2.25, a couple of laps at sort of 72 and a half. Yes, it's well, four enough to stop them tripping over each other, but it's not going to be setting any records. Championship record 8.39.49 by Fernando Ribeiro back in 1996. And if we can just speculate a bit, I mean, I was thinking what sort of race would Muir want? I mean, she ran that fantastic British record yesterday, 4.02, when she hit the front and really front ran it at great speed uh, all the way after the first lap, just to see what the kilometre time is here. 2.59.93. Yeah. Well, Yasmin Khan's cranked up the pace after that first kilometre. And there's now a very, very noticeable gap occurring between the leading pair of Khan and Muir, going back to Maureen Costa in third place. Costa now, I'm just wondering what's going through Costa's mind at this moment. Does she try and close that gap, or does she just let them go and settle for a battle for I, the bronze? I, I think the latter. <laughs> I think they've all decided that um, looking at any sort of form and uh, all the rest of it, Muir and Khan are in a different league. I think so as well. Well, we were also speculating on what sort of race Khan would run and possibly what sort of point in the race she would try and push away. 
Well, if she's good enough to push away, that's an interesting fact because she's been so dominant as we saw in the cross country and so on, but she hasn't run against Muir, and that's a different league. Well, there's certainly no evidence that the three races she's had already in Belgrade are in her legs. Muir looking very, very calm and collected indeed at this stage. And Khan really isn't making that much of a break, though. She has increased the pace. I mean, it was just a shade inside nine minutes at the one kilometre point, but it's still not that fast, really. Probably just inside 8.50 pace now. Well, we don't know, of course, how much Muir can produce after the races she's had, but I would say this is absolutely ideal for her if she has got that sort of speed, because she can run away from Khan on the last three laps. At her best, I don't doubt. But, of course, there is that question. Khan's fresh. Let's just look at the battle behind the leading pair for a moment. Costa in third place, 15 metres behind the leading pair, followed by Steph 12. With Alina Ray just moving up into fifth place at the moment, but two very separate races at this stage in proceedings. The battle for gold and silver, and then 15, 20 metres back. It's almost the rest of the field going for the bronze. Only one woman at this stage getting detached, that's the Romanian, Ankuta Bobasel. Well, Khan still forging along. Well, it'll be the two-kilometre point uh, just coming up. Well, let's just take a check on the time there. And, of course, as you've said, 5.50.95, so it's speeded up quite a lot. Um, the second kilometre in 2.40... What's that? 2.50? So we're looking at well inside 8.50 pace now. Khan really working hard. Well, Muir this year set a European record of 8.26.41, and it's a very good mark indeed. It's not a soft mark by any stretch of the imagination. We rejoin the race with 500 metres to go, and Khan has surged once again, but Muir is still hanging on and looking very, very calm indeed. So we're coming round the bend and they'll see the two laps to go indicator. Just over 400 metres. Costa behind them has broken away from Steph Twell and looking very secure in the bronze medal position at this stage. But it's Khan. Two laps to go now. Still in front as she's been for most of the race. Muir just watching her and waiting. And there she goes. With 300 metres to go, Muir hits the front, Khan has got nothing to answer. Khan's legs have turned to lead as Muir sprints away. She's well on the way now to getting a very, very memorable double indeed. She hears the bell in 8.06. It's a terrific run. Now, Khan, she's just got to hang on because Costa behind her. Well, it's too much for Costa to make up, but Muir is just romping away with this. We are starting to think now that Ribeiro's championship record may be in danger. She's got 50 metres to go. She's coming into the home straight for the final time. It's a race against the clock. 8.33, 34, 35. The championship record goes to Laura Muir. The second championship record at these the 34th European Athletics Indoor Championships. Well, she takes about a second off that 21-year-old mark. Unconfirmed time of 8.35.68 for Laura Muir. A phenomenal championships. Two championship records in successive days. As Peter said, only once before has there been the double over the two longest distances on the track at these championships, but never in these sort of circumstances. Never in these circumstances and nothing remotely like the times we've seen here. Sensational. Her last two laps, when she broke away from Khan, of course, 31 seconds and 29.3. Well, up until about the halfway point in the race, as you probably heard, I didn't think that that championship record was in danger. But then Khan surged with 500 metres to go. And then Muir just went through the gears as we see her coming through the line on the slow motion replay. Well, I'd love to know what was going through Laura Muir's mind when she saw the bell. At that point, she must have known that the championship record was on. She knew that she was capable of clocking a sub-30 final lap. Well, I don't think that was her main 
sort of worry, as I say, I think I think Khan set up the race absolutely perfectly for her. She needed it to be quick, it was quick. And let's just bring you up to date, we'll see the official results in a moment. But Yasmin Khan setting a national record for Turkey, 8.43.46. And I have to say, we do apologise, we ignored her in the excitement of Laura Muir's run, but Alish McColgan had a fantastic final lap to come through and take the bronze. I just wish she'd stay in contention. She was way back. There we have confirmation. Laura Muir, championship record, 8.35.67.